Hi everyone, welcome back to McLaren Substitute Teacher. We're into our sixth and final lesson before your summer holidays. And, and we probably saved the best till last. We've had five weeks, five awesome people that have come on, uh, all from the various departments of McLaren. But uh, yeah, best till last. We have now our sixth substitute teacher. Radia Perlman is someone who's helped build something of your everyday life, helped build a little part of the internet. She created rules to help computers speak to one another someone that's very important. I hope you can enjoy what she has to teach you. Hi, my name is Radio Perlman and today I'll be your substitute teacher. Formula One is an incredibly technical sport. As a matter of fact, McLaren can't even turn the car on without a computer. Data is collected from over 200 sensors on the car, measuring things like fuel level, tire temperatures, and G-forces. Then they send this data back to a network of over 500 computers spread across the world. A team of very smart engineers and data scientists then process the data to make quick decisions on how to look after the car and strategies to win races. Hmm. This information needs to be processed during the race, so it's important that the data can get through the network as fast as possible. There are thousands of different paths the data can take. How do the computers in the network know which path will be the fastest? Hmm. They use an algorithm to calculate the best path. An algorithm is simply a set of instructions they need to follow, just like following a recipe to make your favorite cake. The algorithm I'm going to teach you is one that I've used in some of my inventions. Suppose Lando is in a hurry and needs to find the fastest way to walk from the entrance of the racetrack to the McLaren garage. This diagram shows a map of the venue with numbers showing how many minutes it will take him to walk between each place, including time to chat with fans in the fan zone or stop for a burger in the burger van. This is how the algorithm works. The algorithm will compute the best path from the entrance to each of the venue places. It will convert a map with lots of paths into a tree, which is a map where there is only one way to go and it will be the best path. We know the best path from the entrance to the entrance takes zero minutes because you're there already. So we're going to write down entrance zero. Now look for all the places you can get to from there and see if that path is best so far. From the entrance, you can get to the burger van in seven minutes, so write burger van under entrance and likewise fan zone six and ticket booths two but with a dotted line because you're not really sure that is the best path you'll find mm. now look at the dotted line with the smallest distance and make it solid in this case it's the ticket booth with two now look at paths through there you could get to the fan zone in five through there two to get to the ticket booth and three from the ticket booth to the fan zone, which is faster than going directly from the entrance, which is six. So let's cross off the link from the entrance to fan zone and put fan zone under the ticket booths with a dotted line with five. Now look for the location with the dotted line with the smallest number. In this case, it will be the fan zone at five. Now we look to see what we can reach from the fan zone. We can reach the burger van through the fan zone at a cost of 11, but there's a better path directly from the entrance, so we'll ignore that. We can also reach the garage at a cost of 12, which is five plus seven, so we'll put the garage under the fan zone with a 12. Now the dotted line with the smallest number is the burger van with a seven. We look to see what we can reach through that. We can reach the garage at a cost of seven plus two, which is a better path than we had before. So we will put the garage under the burger van at a cost of nine. The only dotted line at this point is the garage, and there's already a better path to everything than if you went through the garage. So you're done. The tree you've drawn looks like this. To get from the entrance to any place quickly, just follow this tree. With a simple example, it might seem like a complicated way to figure out the best path. But when a network gets very large, this algorithm works really well. How fast is 
the data travel from the racetrack to the McLaren Technology Centre? Excellent question. Mm -hmm. Last weekend, we had the Hungarian Grand Prix. Data sent from the track took only 57 milliseconds to reach the McLaren Technology Centre. That's a distance of 1,700 kilometers, which means the data is traveling at over 100 million kilometers per hour. Oh, this is fast. Oh. Another way to measure the speed of data is how much data is being moved. We collect over one and a half terabytes of data over a race weekend. That's the equivalent of streaming over 750 films. Okay, so your homework this week is to use our algorithm to tell Lando how to get from the entrance to the garage at a slightly bigger racetrack. Post your answer on Twitter or Instagram with the hashtag McLaren Substitute Teacher with a sketch of your spanning tree for a chance to win a Dell XPS laptop. And this is our final lesson from McLaren Substitute Teacher. Um, I hope you enjoyed all of it. I hope you enjoyed creating aeroplanes, making recipes for me, and all of the little interaction bits that, uh, that we had to kind of give you some more insight about what we love so much about racing and a bit more behind the scenes in how everything works. So I would just like to say a big thank you to Radia um, and all of our McLaren Substitute Teachers which have taken part and spend their time trying to help you and give some, some more insight. So thank you very much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed as much as I did. And um, I hope to see you all again soon. Have a great summer.